friend incorrectly factors the expression below as 6x times the quantity 3 minus 2x times y. Factor the expression below correctly. What error did your friend make? When they're telling us to factor, we should be looking at our greatest common factor. So let's look over here. I can already kind of see what this guy did wrong. It's because you you can't put an X here. X doesn't work. Ah, okay. I'm going to tell you that you can put your X out front. I know. Crazy, right? Think about it this way, Vinny. Let's say X decided to be one today. Are you not going to let them go out in front with the six? They're a number now, right? They should be able to be out there. As long as it's in all of the terms, you can make it your greatest common factor. There's an X in both of these things. So you said correctly that part of your greatest common factor will be six. But what's the other part? So what other variable are we going to put as our greatest common factor? Factor. That's what I think it was. Why did you say six is your greatest common factor? Six, as you see here, goes into 18 so perfectly. Okay, but it also yeah. goes into 12, right? Yeah. Okay, so let me ask you this. You have an X here and an X here. Those go into both things. That goes into here and into here. The X yeah. fits perfectly into both of those parts. So we can bring our X out front as well. So our GCF here is actually going to be equal to 6X. So if we do 6X then, now we're just going to have 3 minus 2Y. It removes the X's because just like you took the 6 out, because it was in both terms, the 18 and the 12, there was also an X next to the 18 and the 12. So if you take the X out front with the six, then when you redistribute, your X will go to both places that it used to be. Is it like if there's one in both and it equals both, then it takes it? Yeah, exactly. You can factor it out. 